What's going on YouTube? Once again, it is Nostalgia Boy and I am back with the third installment, volume number three of Stories from the Vault and uh, the jersey that I'm going to show. I can't, I don't know, can't say how crazy the story is, but like I said, I'm just going to get into stories of you know, how I found certain jerseys and just the way, you know, things happen. Can't always say it's going to be crazy. I think, I don't ever think I'll be able to top the the story of how I acquired the Scottie Pippen. But nonetheless, you know, I have gone that extra mile, that extra length to uh, attain certain jerseys into my collection. And, you know, I'm here to just, you know, uh, share my experience of, the that extra mile that I will go to get a jersey and whatnot. So let's get to it. So the jersey that we are going to be discussing in this uh, volume of, you know, stories from the vault is going to be my rookie home, Charles Barkley. Philadelphia 76ers. This is a extremely hard jersey to obtain in any fashion, whether it's this jersey, especially the white. They have two made in USA run. This would be the run that was done around 98, 99, which was a, a deal that they had with Upper Deck. And, uh, you know, Barkley, there's these jerseys out where, you know, Barkley had signed them. And then there is another Barkley, which has the triple jock. As you can see, the Harwood Classic is on the neck of the jersey. They would go away from that pretty quickly. Uh, first run, Mitchell and Ness, this is how it would be. You would have the Harwood Classic up in the neck, and then you would have this beautiful uh, double jock, you know, year, Mitchell and Ness, and the size tag. Beautiful jersey. So now that I've uh, showed you the jersey, hopefully I can uh, keep it hanging in the background here while we get to this story. This story is more a story of coincidence or just, you know, things being put into the air or put into the existence. So now when it comes to Barkley jerseys, I would have to say it used to be more frequent, but like now every two to three months, a new collector will come in and they will be like, did Mitchell Ness make Barkley jerseys? And since I've been in the groups, it's been consistent with that always happening. And then people saying they're fake and they don't have the knowledge of, uh, in the groups, uh, Kings Throwback, Mitchell Ness Collectors, I actually do have a lengthy post where I go into the very intimate details about the Barkley jerseys around the time they were produced, what Barkley jerseys were made, uh, what the manufacturer was, made in USA, made in Korea, made in El Salvador. No, oh, Bobby. A little late, a little tired. Uh, so... Uh, how many years ago? We're talking about 2017. And we're talking July, you know, around July 2017. Uh, Barkley was brought up. And someone was asking about the whole, you know, Mitchell and Ness thing with Barkley and... Fellow collector James King, uh, he showed his El Salvador run of the Rookie Road. He showed the 89 All-Star Game, which is made in Korea. And he showed another, you know, white whale. There's a very good fake, and I've mentioned it before. But the 92-93 uh, home Fireball Sons Charles Barkley. So he basically has... Almost a complete set when it comes to Barkley with Mitchell Ness. 
they did make a USA run. So same style hardwood, you know, clad. I owned it. So I, I have pictures and proof. I own both the El Salvador run and the USA run at one time of the Rookie Road. Same thing, you know, the, the dual jock tag, hardwood classic in the neck. Of course, it's just going to be red. You know, this is home. But in the comments, he mentioned, you know, I've never seen it in person. I've never seen any picture, but supposedly there is a rookie home Barkley jersey. I've never seen it, but I heard that they, they made it and that it's out there. And, you know, as a collector, you know, when you're trying to collect certain things and you find out certain you know, information about things, you're just like, you know, wow, that's out there now, can I find it? So, you know, that was a, a new goal of mine. I'm going to find the jersey no matter what, but it's just crazy how quick I found it and was able to acquire it. And the price that I originally got it as, I did sell this to a collector and I was able to get it back. Uh, but we're going to stick to the story. So this jersey was mentioned, no pictures, nothing. At the time I had a job, I was, you know, doing food deliveries and I worked overnight. So two days later, you know, I'm bored, I'm done with work. And I go on Facebook and I, oh, let me use Facebook Marketplace. And would you believe it or not, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning and I'm driving home. I literally pulled over on the side of the highway to stop and look at the pictures. And I just kept looking and looking and looking and like, it looks legit. It looks legit. And so, you know, I, eventually I got back on the highway, went home. But before I went to sleep... I had the seller I was like, look, when can you meet? I can meet today. I can meet you immediately. Mind you, I just worked all night. I just worked a 13 hour shift, but I didn't care because I had to have the jersey in my collection. And he was selling this jersey for a hundred bucks. And this jersey is worth way more than a hundred dollars. But at the end of the day, it's not my job to tell somebody what something is worth. Uh, I'm going to pay what they ask. So sometimes I know some people will try and haggle, but I was not trying to haggle $100 for this jersey. So I just hit him up. He hit me up. Uh, I damn near got no sleep. I woke up a couple hours later. You know, he hit my inbox and we. I told him that I could meet him downtown in Philly, which is where he lived. A red eyed and everything, I didn't care. Drove, parked my car, we met up, and I was so excited to get this jersey in hand because it was like, you know, you got that white whale, you got that ghost that nobody ever saw, and it was just crazy that I heard about it, and then two days later, I had it in hand. I remember so much that the first time I hung out with Mighty Fan and Big Slim, Big Slim was like, you have to come with the Barkley on because I need to see it. I want to see it. So the first time I met, you know, Neil and Mark, I had this jersey on because, you know, it also tied into what Mark was doing, but he just had to see this jersey. I actually had a couple people approach me that day willing to pay me cash for this jersey and I told them no because I wasn't trying to get rid of it. But uh yeah man, it was just, just one of those those things where, you know, sometimes you feel like you'll never ever find a jersey or it's gonna be almost impossible to find and then literally forty eight hours later I was able to acquire this jersey and then I was able to post pictures of the jersey, which, you know, everybody loved. This jersey always gets love. Even, you know, even I don't have it no more, but, you know, the El Salvador, the, the rookie 
road jersey always got love, but especially this jersey. This jersey is just, you know, always just uh, something that people are drawn to and really love and it's clean and it's dope. But uh, so that's that's really my story, man. You know, uh, it's just just major coincidence. Barkley was brought up in the group. They showed all the Barkley jerseys and this was a supposed jersey 48 hours later. It's on Facebook Marketplace in Philadelphia for $400. And uh, I don't care who it is in the group. I'm sure they would have threw that $100 at the phone screen to, <laughs> to get this jersey. And, you know, I did sell it off. But the person who I sold it to was uh, kind enough, good enough to hit me back up that he had found it and he was looking to part with it. And this was a jersey that at first I didn't regret selling, but then later on I had seller's remorse. And there's only one jersey left that I have seller's remorse for and eventually I will get it in my collection. So here you have it. Volume number three, stories from the vault, the, you know, the crazy, I can't even say, but just the, the coincidental acquisition of this jersey. It was brought up, and the next thing you know, I'm seeing it, and it's in hand, and it's in my face. So, this jersey will... Never leave the collection. The only way I can honestly sell this jersey is if I got a double. And uh, they're hard to come by. So Mitchell Ness did make a second run USA with the triple jock. That's just as rare. But uh, this one is a couple years older. Maybe like a year or two older than the next release that they did do. So glad to have this back in my collection. And I'm glad that I could share the story with you. And until next week, I'm out.